There's a troublesome new discovery in deep space that has uh, scientists excited. Thanks to South Africa's Meerkat Telescope, scientists have uncovered an extraordinary new giant radio galaxy nicknamed a Inkatazo, meaning trouble in the Nguni languages. This discovery sheds light on the evolution of the largest structures in the universe and offers new yet confusing insights into their mysterious origins. Before the Meerkat, giant radio galaxies were thought to be rare described as cosmic uh, behemoths uh, spewing jets of hot plasma millions of light years across intergalactic space. These plasma jets which glow at radio frequencies are powered by supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies. But the Meerkat has scientists, seen scientists discover at least three in the last five years. Let's bring in Kathleen Charlton, who's lead author and MSc student at the University of Cape Town, joining us to discuss more of this. Uh, Kathleen, a very good evening to you. Thank you for your time. We, we know that UCT researchers have helped unveil this giant radio galaxy. It's a groundbreaking study offering new insight into the evolution of the universe. How significant is it? Well, what's really significant about this galaxy is that it is a very different kind of giant radio galaxy to some of the others that we've seen before. Um, yeah, so it is um, differently shaped. It is um, bent um, rather, rather than being straight, which indicates that um, there's some kind of other physics really going on here. Also, we're definitely seeing um, something different in that this giant radio galaxy is found in a cluster. Okay. So that means that there's lots of other galaxies surrounding it. Okay, so what makes it that special? Because the name Inkatazo means trouble in Isizulu and Isikosa. I understand it was chosen because of the galaxy's features, which have posed challenges for researchers who are attempting to understand its peculiar physics. Yes, um, so uh, like I was the main one working on Inkatazo yeah. and I had a lot of trouble when I found this galaxy and had to kind of somehow explain it with the physics that we currently have. Mm -hmm. And this is really, really exciting because um, it means that there's lots that we don't know and there's lots about our physics that we can still learn. Mm -hmm. um, and it's great to really be working on something like this. It, it also sounds like we're entering an exciting era of radio astronomy. How does such a monumental discovery now help astronomers in further understanding the largest structures in the universe? Yeah, um, especially um, the fact that we can do this with Meerkat, which is a South African telescope, and with the SKA coming up, there's definitely lots um, of potential for really unveiling the mechanisms here. So giant radio galaxies are some of the largest structures in the universe, definitely the largest structures that come from galaxies. And so then studying these extreme cases of physics, we can then find the origins of what's going on. Mm. In the bigger scheme of things, I mean, you've spoken about its significance. How does it impact or influence day-to-day -day life for, for the ordinary man on the street? Well, I think um, in general, humanity has a massive curiosity. I mean, mm -hmm. we've all been looking up at the stars since um, the beginning of time. But also, um, it promotes uh, lots of international collaborations and diplomacy. So um, this work was done on an international level um, with the MITEI team. So some of my collaborators were from Oxford, from India, um, from more from South Africa. So, I mean, it was a South African-led team. Um, my supervisors from Australia. So it, it really promotes like unity, unity in a way that other things um, I think do not, and that's something that we need right now. Yeah. What opportunities does such a discovery open up for for the entire sector? 
Well, I mean, with Meerkat and SKA, um, there are lots of opportunities to really kind of go and, and probe the physics. So um, lots of jobs for scientists and engineers. Um, I think definitely in the next coming years, we're going to see a, a very big boom in terms of South African industry, in terms of astronomy. Um, just earlier last year, um, there was um, the IAU General Assembly held in Cape Town, um, which really shows that South Africa is one at the forefront of astronomy, which is really, really cool. Yeah. I mean, Kathleen, there may be some people watching, uh, perhaps uh, some in high school, some even branching towards higher education and not really sure about uh, entering the, the sciences space. What, what excites you about the possibilities for a person who wants to grow and expand their knowledge and study sciences? <sighs> Well, I would say South Africa is actually a really, really good place to do it because there's a lot of fostering of um, new insights here. We're definitely a hub for learning. And I think there's nothing wrong with learning. Learning is something that drives humanity forward. It um, helps us innovate and create and ultimately make the world a better place. And I would say if you really love learning and you really love science, go for it. Um, there will be a space for you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks for uh, speaking to us this evening. Kathleen Charlton, lead author and MSc student at the University of Cape Town there, speaking about uh, how UCT researchers have helped unveil this giant radio galaxy, uh, a groundbreaking study.